In this quick Premiere Pro tutorial, I will show you three ways to create mask or crop a video or image. The third way is quite straightforward, using the crop effect. Just drag the effect onto your clip, and then you can crop it from all sides. You also have the option to blur the edges if you want. While this is simple, the downside is you can only crop your video into a rectangle or square. The second method is to create a mask on your clip. In the effect controls panel, under opacity, you see three options. Choose any of these to create a mask for your clip. You can animate the mask or even create multiple masks within the single clip. This method offers more flexibility and should work for most tasks. However, it can be a bit tricky when you need to be precise, which leads me to the third option. The third option is using shapes and track map key. Let's say you have a clip on track one. You can use the pen tool to create a shape or draw a rectangle or circle. Then apply the track map key effect on the clip. In the map dropdown, select the track where your shape is. If you notice a misalignment, this is likely that your footage isn't the same size as your sequence. To fix this, remove the track map key effect, right click and nest it. This ensures that your clip matches the sequence size. Then reapply the track map key effect and choose the correct layer. In the shape layer, you can create multiple shapes and control their properties in the essential graphics panel. If you want to invert the mask, simply check reverse option on effect controls. And that's it, three ways to crop and create masks in Premiere Pro. If you found this helpful, don't forget to subscribe for more quick tips. Until next time, happy editing.